um, I want to introduce his introducer, uh, Assessor Jeffrey Prang. Uh, newly elected in November 2014, Jeffrey Prang represents more than 10 million people as the 27th Assessor for the County of Los Angeles. His office is responsible for locating all taxable properties, so you watch out for him, in the county and establishing its value. With 2.6 million property assessments valued at nearly $1.2 trillion, Assessor Jeffrey Prang leads the largest assessment agency in the nation. And Scott Swankin, do you, do you need an introduction? <laughs> he was elected in May 2011 to the Board of Trustees of the LACCD, the district here, after serving on the San Diego Unified School District Board. Scott was elected unanimously as president of the Board of Trustees in July 2014, and just today was re-elected to uh, the, the board presidency. So congratulations for that. So I just have to say, I know what you all are thinking. Thank goodness that we got the county property tax assessor here to lift everyone's spirits. <laughs> no Scott at all. The stage here is the stage for a photo. <laughs> I'm proud to be able to here to speak to you all. It's the of uh, office to uh, Scott Spodkin. We've been friends for a very long time. We've been colleagues together. He's worked for me on more than one occasion and actually he replaced me in some of the jobs I had in the past. He's uh, an outstanding public servant, outstanding leader in the education community. It's just a real privilege for me to be here to join he and his family and so many other distinguished guests on this very special day. So um, I believe that uh, Sam is going to be holding the Bible mm -hmm. and uh, Scott, you will raise your right hand and you'll be able to meet him. I, Scott J. Spunker. I, Scott J. Sponkin, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend, that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of California, and the Constitution of the State of California, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance, that I will bear true faith and allegiance, to the Constitution of the United States, to the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of California, and the Constitution of the State of California. This obligation freely, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which I'm about to enter. The duties upon which I'm about to enter. Thank you.
just like people that go to our colleges do to provide for their families. So I want you to understand when I'm not home that this is the work I do because I care about you and I care about the community you live in. voters of Los Angeles who placed their trust in me four years ago. That four years ago I had one of the longest, most expensive races in LACCD history. But this time it wasn't so long and it wasn't as tough. Um, I'm grateful to the voters for putting their faith in, in myself and my new colleagues. Their trust for us to lead this important work is history. I want to thank everyone who supported me in my first campaign. I want to thank the elected officials faculty members, the faculty members, the staff, the administrators, our business leaders, those in organized labor who helped bring me to this uh, opportunity, who supported me in every fight I've been in to make sure that people got a fair wage, got an opportunity to have health care, and uh, I was able to run this election on a record uh, of accomplishments because of the people sitting next to me. There's nothing you can do as board president that isn't done as a team, and I'm honored to be helping to quarterback this team. A special thanks to my friend, uh, Jeff Prang, who's dedicated uh, his life to public service. Um, Jeff, you are someone I admire greatly, and I learn from every day, because I work for you. <laughs> You've treated everybody that you've crossed paths with in your career with respect and dignity, and I hope to model my service after yours, you're going to ensure that everybody gets a fair assessment <laughs> on their home or business personal property. <laughs> uh, I want to thank uh, Mayor Garcetti for your leadership. You are a partner that no city in the nation has. Nobody has a mayor as committed to helping the people of, of their town get a better life through education, through jobs, through improving the quality of life. Um, my friend John Chung, you swore me in my first go-round, and you stood with me this time. And I will stand with you as you take on the fights at, at the state level, making sure that uh, California is, does the right thing on its budget and on its uh, being socially responsible to the workers of California. I admire you greatly. My friend Paul Koretz isn't with us today. He's not feeling well. Um, Paul gave me an opportunity to go to work in West Hollywood where I got to meet Jeff Brand. Paul is on the LA City Council and he is a fierce champion of working men and women in this city. And I miss Paul tonight because he's not feeling up to it, but I know he's here in spirit. Um, from my first job with Mayor Tom Bradley and being Chief of Staff for Paul Koretz, to now serving as Chief of Public Affairs for the great county assessor. I couldn't be luckier. I have an amazing family, I've had an amazing career, but folks, we've just begun to fight. We're gonna fight for our students every day out here to make sure that they have an opportunity just like I did. So my colleagues, thank you for allowing me to serve last year as president, and I look forward to working with all of you this year as your president. I'm a traffic cop, I'm a facilitator. Together we'll do the good work. Tonight, I recommit myself to the work to restore classes so our students can complete their courses, get a certificate or transfer to four-year college. That's what this is about. This is about helping our students pursue their dreams for a better life and a brighter future. I'm proud of what we did together working last, this last year to restore classes and to protecting the public's money. Those two things are our job and our primary responsibility. Never could I have imagined that I could go from being a high school dropout to serving on the board of the largest community college district in the nation. Folks, I'm one lucky man. Never did I imagine I would stand with the President of the United States of America to join him in fighting for free community college for every student that works hard. They deserve a free education. We need to restore that promise. When I got elected, the number one issue was restoring the public's trust in our building program. We've done that. We will continue to do that. We will 
to shine a light in every nook and cranny of our building program to make sure that we are responsible with the public's funds and ensure that the billions the public's have been entrusted in us will be spent to improve our colleges across this county. But I want to thank each of you today as I stand here before you ready to continue our work to fulfill my oath and make sure that every student who needs a second chance like I did will have a seat in our classes in every one of our colleges. I will fight to make sure the public's money is spent as we promised on the best facilities we can build as we owe our students and the voters nothing less. Together, board members, we will fulfill the promise we made to uh, the people of Los Angeles, that we, the oath we took, and together with the chancellor's help, our faculty, staff, and the students, we will build the best community college district in the nation. Thank you all. May God bless you, and may God bless America.